guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. Welcome if you're new, I'm Emma, and today I'll be heading to Asda for my weekly grocery shop and taking you along with me. I was going to head to Costco for this week's grocery shop. I haven't been in a while and I used to shop there all the time for some bulk buys like packets of water, big freezer bags, toilet rolls. But back then, I had plenty of space for storing these things and I wasn't working to the set budget which is one of the reasons why I was in a financial mess. These days I do have my finances under control and I'm using monthly budgeting and cash envelope stuffing to help. This week I have a slightly smaller budget than my usual £100. I have just £80. So I figured it's probably not the best time to go shopping for bulky items in Costco. I think I'll be better off going when I've got a slightly bigger budget and can afford to buy some of the worthwhile bulk buys. And I say worthwhile because not all of them are, unless you just want to purely save time and you're not interested in saving money. So what I'm going to do is wait until my next payday in May and give myself a slightly bigger budget. I'll be able to get some bargains that are worthwhile and store them in my shed, which I've recently decluttered. And I also want to have a look around for some bits in my garden because it's pretty bare at the minute. So I did used to shop at Asda quite a lot, but I had to stay clear in the end because I could couldn't stay away from the home and clothing departments and me spending was just a little bit out of control. Even when I had no spare money to spend, I'd still go to these departments and see what was on offer and end up throwing things on credit cards or going into my overdraft to afford them. But since I have been budgeting and cash stuffing, I'm a lot more disciplined now. And luckily today, I do have the money available to go to these departments and have a look around and buy a few things for Easter. I also want to try out some new recipes. And I do know that Aldi, which is where I normally shop, as well as Lidl, which is just as cheap, don't have all of the ingredients that I need. So let's get ready and go to our step. When I'm back, I'll lay everything out, show you what I bought, and let you know what meals myself and my girls will be having this week. Well, I'm back guys, and I was out of the house a little bit longer than I am when I shop at Aldi, but as you've seen, there was a lot more to see, and also, as planned, there was a lot more for me to buy this week. I'm going to unpack everything now, and then we'll have a look at what I've bought. 
so here's my fruit and veg and it was really nice to have such a big range available to me today i do think asda offers a larger range of fruit and vegetables but what i do like most is that they offer different pack sizes so for example the shredded lettuce i like the fact that it's shredded it's just easy and i'm a bit lazy when it comes to cooking but also i end up with less waste when i buy these smaller bags i've got some carrots sweet potatoes some broccoli some sugar snap peas, asparagus, cucumber, spring onion, brown onions, some ginger in this handy little bag, some coriander and parsley for some meals. Then onto fruit. I do have some apples left from last week's shop which are fine to use. So I've just got some bananas and some peaches it just felt like having some peaches it's been a while and they're in season obviously these just need to ripen a little bit and just like an aldi as they do sell these mini bags of freshly prepared and washed fruit and veg now these offer again a bigger range so i've gone for some grapes some pineapples and some cucumber batons Again, because I am a bit lazy and it just saves all the prep. It also saves on waste because it's very rare that Bella won't finish a pack of these grapes in a pack lunch. But yeah, I was really impressed with Asda's range today. And what I did notice is that everything was really fresh and has good dates on as well. On to cupboard foods, I bought a few snacks because the kids break up from school for the Easter holiday in just over a week. So I want to start stashing, and I mean stashing, hiding stuff upstairs, just so we don't have to go out and buy loads of snacks on next week's shop. I've got some McCoy's crisps for my boyfriend actually, some Snacker Jacks and Cheese and Onion Walker's Oven Baked Crisps for myself and Lydia. Some Cracker Bread to have as a snack or even as a lunch. Some pot noodles. And these Maggie curry flavour noodles, which the girls like, they'll be handy for when they're off school, just for lunches. Some squares bars for all of us to share, just to grab on the way out to school this week, and also for while the girls are off school. These mini BM biscuits are for Bella, and these skinny cookies are for Lydia to go with another low-calorie dessert I've picked up for her this week. As I said before, one of the reasons I decided to go to Asda this week and not Little or Aldi is because I couldn't get the ingredients that I wanted for some of the meals I want to try out from Little or Aldi. So for example, this sesame oil, not sold in either of those stores, tikka masala paste, harissa paste and cumin seeds. I think you can get the seeds, but yeah, the paste and oil I couldn't find in Aldi or Little anywhere. Let me know if you've spotted them before. Then I've just got some maple syrup, which I haven't had for ages, for breakfast. Some marmalade, again, I haven't had any marmalade for ages. And some hazelnut bread for Bella. Would you have guessed? So from the bakery, I picked up fruit loaf, which I'm going to have my marmalade on. Just a change from the hot cross buns, which I've really been enjoying at the moment. How cute are these Easter bunny crumpets? Now, I may use them this week or I might save them for Easter because chances are I won't be able to get hold of them as we get nearer. We can have them with jam or marmalade on. To have right away because the kids love them. We've got pancakes. Lydia loves the white chocolate and Bella likes these plain. I'll have some with the maple syrup on. So I'm excited about this breakfast. I've also got waffles. Now, I don't think Bella will end up eating these this week because we have got the pancakes and we've got the novelty grumpets. But what I like about Asda's waffles is that they come in small individual pack sizes. So you get two in a pack individually wrapped. And it just stops them going off because Bella will just rip open the packet from Aldi, which don't come individually wrapped like these. And unless I get onto it and I put them in a bag or I clip them, they just go stale overnight and then I have to bin them. So again, this should cut down on some waste. Same with these baguettes. These have got a really long shelf life on. So these don't go off for another month and a half, six weeks. So I don't even need to freeze them. I'll be making some homemade soup one day in the week. I don't know when, probably not until the weekend. But to save me having to dash out to pick up a fresh loaf to have with the soup, I thought I'd get these dinner rolls because, again, these have got a really good date on. These don't run out until the end of May, which is a couple of months from now. And there's nothing better than a nice hot roll with your soup, is there? 
these strawberry and cream muffins for myself and my boyfriend. I don't have to spoil them, don't I? <laughs> Never tried these before. I think he'll be made up with them. He's definitely got a sweet tooth for anything with cream and jams, strawberries, raspberry and he loves. From the chill, let's start with this large create your own pizza. We used to get these all the time so the kids are going to be excited when they see this. We've got the stone baked base with barbecue sauce. I've got chicken, chorizo, peppers and onion. And I just think for the price, again compared to somewhere like Domino's or a local pizzeria, these are really good. Plenty of toppings on there. I haven't even bought the garlic bread because for the last few weeks it's been getting wasted. This will do us. I can throw in some onion rings which I've got in the freezer or even just some chips. As you'll have seen, you can actually create your own pizza or you have quite a few already made up for you. So if you're in a hurry and you don't want to face what is normally about a 15 minute queue for one of these, then yeah, there's plenty of options available to you. You can obviously go for thicker bases and so many more toppings. You can pay extra to have more toppings as well. I've got some pepperoni for Bella's lunch, some eggs. As a change, I've got Bella some jelly pots instead of yogurts. She really enjoys these. These will probably be gone in a night unless I keep my eye on her. <laughs> Milky bar, little treats. These are actually for Lydia. She loves these. For a meal, I'm having some tagliatelle. And I was going to make my own sauce, but I won't lie. When I spotted this, I just thought, do you know what? It's easier, it's quicker, and I've got a really busy week ahead. So that'll do just nicely. What I like about Asda as well is they sell these small hummus pots. Again, I end up wasting less when I have these. And they offer variety with the three different flavours. The red pepper and chilli, regular hummus and lemon and coriander. So I can actually have these with the cucumber batons that I picked up ready prepared. Or I could have some carrot sticks. I haven't got any peppers this week, but yeah, that'll be just fine. Some Philadelphia to go on my cracker bread with some cucumber. And then again, because I've got a really busy week ahead and I just am not going to have the time to prepare my own, I've picked up one of these ready prepared cottage pie meals for all of us, which we can just throw in the oven along with some veg and will be a nice filling meal. Never tried Asda's pre prepared one, so I'm just going to give it a go. But for the price, I couldn't really have bought all the ingredients separately, I don't think. For lunches, I've got some char grilled chicken and some honey roast ham. So if you watch my cash stuffing videos and you've watched my latest one, you'll know that we've recently adopted another puppy. Named Luna. She's absolutely gorgeous, but at the moment she is just nine, nearly ten weeks old. And she's obviously not toilet trained just yet, although she is doing really well. Just like Benny, she seems to be really clever and she is picking up on words like no or we on the mat. When she doesn't weigh on the mat, I've got these kitchen towels, which are great for mopping up spills, as it says just there. I needed some toilet roll, and these just seem to be one of the best value options. I needed some hand soap to refill my soap dispensers in the kitchen and two bathrooms. And I was really pleased to see that Asda now do these plastic-free baby wipes, because I do need to buy more of these now that I have another puppy, just for wiping her paws and a bum when she's been outside. I'm still using them for Benny, and I do still like to have even just a packet in the car for when I'm out with the kids. From the freezer, I've just picked up another ice cream for Lydia, this cookie dough one, this week, which she can have along with her cookies. To be fair, these last her a few days. They don't just go all in one, which they would do if I was eating them. <laughs> I've got some chips just to have in the freezer and again some waffles. We always get waffles, Lydia loves them especially, but I thought the mini ones would be a nice change for her. So it's Easter in just over a couple of weeks. I have been buying bits for the last few weeks now, as you'll know from the other videos, but just small things like these little nets of mini eggs. Just for Bella's Easter egg hunt, which she was going to have along with maybe just one or two of her friends, but I've decided to have an Easter egg hunt for Bella, my niece, nephews, and also my cousin's little children as well, which is why I've bought six little Easter egg hunt baskets which are just so cute and can be reused or used you know just to store things in the bedroom afterwards they don't need to go in the bin for Lydia's and Bella's little Easter hampers that I've decided to make for them I've picked up one of these larger baskets for them each and they've also got a big Easter egg each I'm only getting them one because they are going to get plenty of chocolate off family and friends for when I have my little family 
Easter party, I suppose it is now. I've just got a nice table cover for decoration and to protect the table. And these plates to save on washing up. I'll also need the table cover for these other things that I've picked up, which is so cute. Paint your own sun catchers. And it's just two for a pound. I thought these would be great. So that'll keep the kids entertained for hopefully a bit longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> and they can also make an Easter card. We'll have a little game of Easter bingo, which will be fun. And how cute are these? Again, just for deco and a bit of fun, really. Easter bunny feet to stick on the floor. Oh, also for my Easter egg hunt, I've got some fillable eggs so I can put little sweets in there or maybe even just, you know, a couple of pounds so it's like an extra special surprise for the older kids. Bella is 10, so her reaction when I share with these things will be sort of, oh, I'm a bit cool for that. But you know what? When it comes down to it, she will absolutely love it, especially having all the cousins around her. I'm really excited now. So if you were looking at what I bought, thinking... Where's the meat or alternatives to go with all these sides? I was lucky enough to be given this five kilogram pack of chicken at work for free. I'm a warehouse manager for a food wholesaler in case you're wondering. And also in case you're wondering, no, this doesn't happen often, unfortunately. Only if it doesn't have enough shelf life on it to be sold, which is the case with this chicken. So what I'm gonna do is divide it all up, put one or two chicken breasts into freezer bags and pop them in the freezer. At work, we supply to restaurant chains, hotel chains, the Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Defence, schools, hospitals. So pretty much everything is only available in bulk. Also, a bit like Costco, not everything is necessarily worth me buying from work in bulk. Because unless it's on a mega deal, it doesn't really save me much money. So tonight we'll be having this barbecue chicken pizza, which I chose the toppings for myself, whilst it's nice and fresh. I'm gonna try harissa chicken, or you could use tofu if you're vegan, with some couscous. I have realized that I need to pick up some honey. And again, if you're vegan, you could use an alternative like this. One night we'll have cottage pie with broccoli and asparagus and some peas, which I've already got in the freezer. We'll be having chicken tagliatelle with tomato and mascarpone sauce with some parsley and grated cheese on top and a rocket salad for sides. This week's meat-free meal is gonna be jacket potatoes with a curry chickpea filling and some salad on the side. One night I'm gonna try an Asian sticky sesame chicken dish with some egg fried rice. For any vegans out there, you could have this with cauliflower instead of chicken and then you could try this egg alternative which I found in Asda today. I'm going to make mine and Miguel's favourite one night, which is homemade chicken and barley soup with some bread rolls. I'm not sure if the gravy browning is suitable for vegans, but you could switch out the chicken and the chicken stock cubes for some vegan alternatives like these. If you watch me often, you'll know by now that grocery shopping is one of the highlights of my week. So you can probably guess that I've really enjoyed today's Asda shop. As I've said before, these are pretty much the only shopping hauls that I do. And now that I budget me money and I knew I could afford anything that I was buying, I didn't get to the till and have that sick, guilty feeling. I spent just under £85, which was a little bit over my £80 budget. So I had to take £5 from one of my other cash envelopes, which is fine. And I then spent around £20 on some Easter bits for Bella's little Easter party with my niece and nephews. Yes, this was planned and budgeted for, so again, it was guilt-free and enjoyable spending. Having five kilograms of free chicken has obviously helped this week's budget and will likely help the next couple of weeks' budgets. I do think Asda's prices were pretty reasonable. I didn't remember thinking whilst I was walking around, oh, that item's so much cheaper in Aldi or so much cheaper in Lidl, which I'm glad about because I am trying to vary our meals and Aldi and Lidl, as I said before, don't always have the ingredients that I need. Sometimes I do need to shop somewhere with a bigger range of products. Well, I've got about half an hour until I need to go and pick the girls up from school. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna get me puppies who are just sleeping right now and chill with a nice coffee and I think some fruit loaf with marmalade. 
I will share everything I bought for Easter in another video. So if you don't want to miss that one and you want more videos like this, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe button. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by giving me a like or by sharing your thoughts in the comments. Or with anyone else, maybe your friends, who you think may also find this video helpful and insightful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely week and bye for now.